A lawsuit filed in federal court claims a Fox News report about a slain DNC staffer, Seth Rich, was reviewed prior to publication by President Trump and was altered at the White House's request. The lawsuit filed by private investigator Rod Wheeler, who was initially hired on behalf of the Rich family, says his quotes in a May 16th FoxNews.com story were fabricated by Fox News reporter Malia Zimmerman. The story was retracted by Fox a week after it was published for not meeting its standards. The quotes in question implied that Rich was killed for leaking internal DNC emails to WikiLeaks. Wheeler claims he complained to Ed Patowski, a Trump supporter who hired him to probe Rich's death. Wheeler says he was told, quote, that is the way the president wanted the article. The suit also alleges the Rich article was an attempt to divert attention away from the ongoing Russian investigation. According to the suit, Zimmerman, Zimmerman, Batowski, and Fox had created fake news to advance President Trump's agenda. Batowski did not respond to a call for comment. Fox News said in a statement, the accusation that FoxNews.com published Malia Zimmerman's story to help detract from coverage of the Russia collusion issue is completely erroneous. The retraction of this story is still being investigated internally, and we have no evidence that Rod Wheeler was misquoted by Zimmerman. Wheeler also claims in the suit he and Batowski met with then White House spokesman Sean Spicer in April and provided him with a copy of his investigative but, notes. But Sean Spicer said that was a this lie that he never met with anybody, right? That's correct. Yeah, he said he, he never met, so Spicer never met, so asked for regular updates on the story. Something Wheeler believes Batowski did back in May. Spicer denied See, knowledge. Oh my God! He, he didn't know the story. story. Take a look. What are you doing? He didn't know the story. He said it on TV. Watch this. Watch it. It's clear. This clear cut. I don't. I'm not aware of. I, I generally, um, I don't get updates on DNC former DNC staffers. I'm not aware of that. There you go. Gonna, gonna wipe, wipe really with the way nervous. he stutters through that statement. You're like, you can just tell him. Yeah. You're clearly full of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I don't, oh. but I don't. Spicer well, that's clear. has that clear. now that confirmed to NBC News that the meeting did take place. What? So he's confirming. No, no, hold on a second. Hold on. No, let's stop. Truth. No, because we got tape. Here, play that tape from before where he said he met with him. Can you, Alex, can he you do that up again? Yeah. No, because he said he, he never did. Here, can we, here, let's play this, please. I don't, I'm not aware of, I, I generally, um, I don't get updates on DNC, former DNC staffers. I'm not aware of that. So he's not aware of the story, so Mika. this is part of what you were saying before, perhaps a note to Sarah Huckabee Sanders, <laughs> the president's lawyers, the president's inner circle, including his family, that if you lie, it does come back. You know, the Bible talks about your lies being shouted it's from the highest wrong. mountaintops. It's I don't know about that, but they'll at least be American played on cable news. <laughs> uh, that... Um, that the pair, quote, came in and told me about the story they were working on for Fox. This is what Spicer was saying. The White House insisted yesterday they had no involvement in the story. Of course, of course. Here we go. The president had no knowledge of the story, and it's completely untrue that here the White House involvement in the story. Uh, and beyond that, this is ongoing litigation, and I'd refer you to the actual parties involved, which aren't the White House. Hey, Noah, I am. Um I retweet you about 14 times a day. You and Pedoritz keep me busy. <laughs> Didn't you say yesterday I give this story four days? Yeah, I, I, I probably overestimated. <laughs> We're going to know by this afternoon that that was a lie. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Um, the, you know, this is all about Horrible. using a, a person's body in order to deflect from a politically uh, frustrating story. Using, so it's using a. a it's let, depraved. So, so hold on a second. It's say, depraved. Hold on. Let's clear this up for everybody what you're talking about. A murdered young man, uh, Seth Rich, has been used to try to draw attention away from this Russian story, right? To try to introduce some doubt as to whether or not Russia was responsible for the hacks in the DNC. And it bubbled up from the most uh, disreputable corners of the internet and has become a talking point in the highest echelons of power in the United States. And that is sort of textbook moral compromises that you we were talking about in the last segment that you embrace for the sake of power or guardrails or whatever you can rationalize for yourself but there is nothing that justifies 
this story and the extent to which it's gotten a lot of play. And for now, the president to be even tangentially implicated in it is uh, really disappointing. And so, fake news, right? Like, like here for all like the, the the Trump lovers who say that everything that we do is is fake news. Like this is the worst kind of fake news. The kid's this picture is so has been horrible. played on TV routinely. Yeah. Which he was we're murdered not. in a and what authorities think was a botched burglary. His parents have to see that each and every day, and it turns out that it was totally wrong. And for Spicer to have that conversation with them, to have any involvement, and, there, and I will say in the story, there's a lot of, they think it might have, there, there's definitely a, a lot of shades in the in the story that, that we're hearing. But that but story came into the White House. Came into the White and House. He and he lied about it, news. and now it's been revealed. Well, now and the we White find House in this White House, right? one lie always leads to another lie in this White House. But to, to Noah's point, the level of cruelty in this story That's is exceeded only by the level of malice in pushing it and forwarding it. That trying to, tells trying you everything you need to know about yeah. the people up to Let's get it right to Alex Jones. Well, like, yeah, and, cool. not, and by the way, not just in the darkest corners of the internet. This was cool. uh, this was on prime time on cable TV, night after night after night being pushed as the family begged and pleaded, please stop pushing this story. That's Eventually, when sick. it became true that this wasn't a, uh, the May story on FoxNews.com was factually inaccurate, that was the only moment at which some people pulled back a little bit and stopped talking about it every single night on Cable news. And it's what's so sick about this moment, right? It's that I bet you if you did a poll, at least among Republicans who are aware of Seth Rich, a strong majority would think that that story is true yeah. because you see it sure. in so many flickers yeah. in so many different places. And that's where fake news and manipulation and war on truth matters because you're seeing it show up everywhere. Coming you're seeing it in Republicans House. believing Putin's a good guy suddenly. Like, how the hell do you believe that a thug is a, a good yeah. guy who's murdering people and enriching oligarchs at the expense of the And, and, and blowing up airplanes. And blowing up airplanes with civilians. And murdering journalists. In the lawsuit, Wheeler cites both a text message and a voicemail from Badalski, in which he allegedly said, not to add any more pressure, but the president just read the article. He wants the article out immediately. It's now all up to you, but don't feel the pressure. Last night, Wheeler described his reaction to that text. Well, first of all, I'm thinking, why would the president have to review a story pertaining to a death, to the murder of a guy in D.C.? Why would the president even be involved in this? But at that point, Ari, it was rather obvious to me that they actually lured me into this investigation, they meaning this Fox News reporter and Ed Butowski, to substantiate this Russian narrative thing or to debunk that when, in fact, they told me that I was really getting involved just to solve a murder. It's... Really? We're well, in you, bad place. we do have to keep in mind these are allegations right, yeah. uh, right now that they, in, a, in a lawsuit. But if you even take that piece out of it, what Mr. Wheeler has been saying, the fact that this has been pushed, this conspiracy theory has been pushed for so long as people cling on to something <clears throat> where the person they're defending won the election. He won. The, they're not trying to yeah. explain how he lost the presidential election. He became president of the United States, and they're still grasping to a story that's based in no fact. And they lied about knowing about the story. They lied about meeting the person who was pushing the story. And they had to admit yesterday, Mika, after this evidence came out, that they were, in fact, lying. So it's just like the Russian investigation. You don't lie when you're innocent. You lie when you have something else to hide. And just like the Russian story, Noah, more's coming. I remain completely perplexed as to why the press secretary didn't close the door on this yesterday. Mm. She determined that Donald Trump wants this sort of open. I don't know whether he believes the Seth, Seth Rich conspiracy theory or not. That doesn't make any sense to me. You want to create some distance here unless you think the president really does sort of kind of buy this. Sometimes you have to say no. Sometimes mm. you have to walk away. They don't do it. All right. They get fired or Coming humiliated up. and pushed out. That's Sometimes how it ends you have up. To say no. They they, uh, they compromise themselves. They compromise their reputations. They compromise their names. The country. They compromise their careers, and then they get walked out of the White House, escorted out of the White House, and shoved out the gate. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.